What is good YouTube, Watch you here with a video on the future of Marvel. So, seeing as we already know that Phase 4 is pretty much wrapped up, we know literally everything that is happening during Phase 4, I thought I'd do a theorized stroke video of what is coming up in Phase 5, seeing as there's been lots of rumors going around recently. So, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to never miss any videos. Also, check out watchyou.com and subscribe to the newsletter. That'll be freaking awesome. So, so if the channel ever hits 100,000 subscribers which it ain't looking great I will be giving away a PS4 Pro with Spider-Man game of the year edition or an Xbox One X with Gears of War 5 so like we said guys phase 5 it's coming in thick and fast so at the moment according to San Diego and according to Kevin Feige who is the head honcho at Marvel apparently he almost quit Marvel because of the old CEO, which is very interesting. So, phase five could be two years long. So, at the moment, you would see in the thumbnail and the image I'm about to throw up in the front of you, these are the movies that I believe will be coming in phase five. We already know Black Panther 2 is scheduled to come out. You know, we know it's coming out in 2022. We already know that. So, in this picture, you will be seeing Namor, Black Panther 2, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, Nova, The Wolverine, Ant Man. Although, Crossfire, I mean, it's the only image I could find. Deadpool 3, Fantastic Four, Silver, Surfer, Blade, Captain Marvel, Secret Invasion, uh, maybe. Spider-Man Back Home, maybe, because the title for that Spider-Man movie would be pretty funny now, because obviously, there's the whole, he's in, he's out, he's in, he's out, I'm sick and tired of doing Spider-Man content. The Dark Avengers and X-Men and the New Avengers, although I really think it will be the X-Men versus the Avengers Secret Invasion build-up with Battle World coming up, because you know that would make the most sense, and obviously Earth could be Battle World. So, let's get into this video. So, literally every title that I announced. In this video is pretty much confirmed already. We know Blade is coming. Hersha Ali is going to be playing him. That was confirmed at San Diego Comic Con. No one got the scoop on that. There's been a lot of news about Silver Surfer and obviously with Surfer Surfer you get the Herald that is Galactus because you can't really do one without the other. But what is interesting about this story is in Thor 4 the, we really could get Galactus tease in that because there is a massive connection to Thor and Galactus in the comic books which could be very interesting. So what is interesting is Wolverine. Yeah, I know. No one's expecting the Wolverine. I really think the Wolverine movie will be coming before anything else. I already have information that apparently Marvel Studios is already starting to cast the X-Men, the Fantastic Four, and the Wolverine. I've tried reaching out to Marvel myself to see if I could get an audition to them. But as you guys know, Marvel don't charge for auditions and Marvel won't return my emails. But the publicity team will. But... Obviously, Marvel Studios won't. So, let's break this down. So, essentially, Mr. Kevin Feige, you would have seen in a video clip I threw up before this video started, he's already confirmed that they could have announced a lot more than they already did, which tells us that they will be doing a lot more than we already think. And he's already confirmed that it is building up to something massive. And the thing is, with the Avengers, you've got to go bigger, you've got to go harder than Endgame, which, realistically, guys, I hate to offend anyone, I was kind of upset with Endgame, because, yes, it was huge Thanos it was all done pretty good it was pretty damn awesome but it could have been better than it was but this is why Avengers 5 is going to be so much bigger because you're going to have Deadpool you're going to have War Stew you're going to have the Fantastic Four with Mr. Fantastic you're going to have so many things interaction with each other that is why I believe the Fantastic Four Silver Surfer Wolverine Deadpool 3 Nova Namor and all this kind of stuff will be set up before we get to the next movie which essentially could be called the new Avengers I believe Avengers 5 will probably be coming after that but technically the new Avengers if that is the fifth Avengers movie would actually be that so I'm presuming all these movies will be coming within phase 5 one way or another we know that Guns of Galaxy Volume 3 will be starting work as soon as James Gunn is finished with Suicide Squad season 2 or volume 2 which is starring John Cena well no John Cena's in it at least um, but that's gonna be pretty cool and we do know that Black Panther 2 is supposedly having The Rock as Namor, you know, and we know Nova could have been teased. He was teased during, you know, Endgame and Infinity War, but for some reason they decided not to use him. Ant-Man has been rumoured to be a Disney streaming show, which would be pretty tragic, seeing as Paul Rudd is a pretty big name in Hollywood, so to downgrade him to a Disney pl streaming platform, but then again, Tom Hiddleston is pretty fire acting, and they've put him in there, but we all know that Tom Hiddleston will be returning to Thor 
Four. So we know that's happening. So that gets out of the way. Deadpool 3 has already been hinted by Ryan Reynolds. That you know, who, who leaked the Deadpool movie. Who leaked the test footage. So we know that's happening. So all these movies are factually already in the works it's just a case of confirming namor getting his own movie a bit skeptical about that one but i really like the artwork for that one so i think that one should be in play now i'm not really sure if spider-man is ever going to come back to the mcu but if he is sure why not let's put him in the equation now captain marvel the secret invasion now i do believe it literally will be a mini avengers movie like but self-contained independently inside that kind of space world and i do believe a lot of that movie will already be in space exploring what happened after captain marvel as we know michael korvac who is an insane villain has been rumored to be in that movie but we don't know we can't confirm or verify guns of the galaxy volume 3 rocket's father the high evolutionary who is also one of the cosmos the cosmos will be involved we believe in phase four phase five maybe teasing phase four but properly coming out in phase five so it's a very interesting next few years for marvel but like i keep saying guys it will be a very skeptical few years for marvel because they're going into untested times we don't know how people will react to captain marvel 2 because you know the first captain marvel movie only realistically did well because people were like yeah you gotta watch captain marvel for endgame and maybe that's the reason some people did i really liked it we did a video today talking about the rumor that marvel were getting cold feet on the whole captain marvel character because they were going to use spider-man to introduce her properly spider-man did actually name drop her what about captain marvel in spider-man far from home so be interesting to see if spider-man does come back home i mean i know a lot of people on yesterday's video like what's you you don't want spider-man in the mcu no guys i do I, i'm just a realist i i honestly don't think it's going to happen at the moment and all the other ones that we've already spoken about it's pretty interesting so the dark avengers i do believe that will come at some point but this is just an overview of what could happen in phase five I do believe everything in the thumbnail is true. To my knowledge, there's been rumors of Silver Surfer movie for years now. We've even have names obviously linked with it. Kevin Feige said he wants to do something with it. The Wolverine's always going to be teased because that essentially is the greatest comic book movie ever, Logan. And, you know, we did a video the other day about Hugh Jackman returning into the role and we basically debunked the theory well it was it was kind of labeled as a, as a scoop that marvel offered the role back to jackman which it's kind of fabricated because we know that wasn't the case we know that never ever happened and if it did I mean, do I have to play the clever again when Hugh Jackman basically says that you have a creative tank inside yourself and you don't want to run it dry? So he essentially did what Tony Stark did and Robert Downey Jr. and Chris Evans did before they did it. And he got off the train before you were pushed. I mean, yes, that movie is set in the future. So in theory, Hugh Jackman could return one day. Yeah, cool story, bro. In one day, he could return. So it's going to be interesting to see where Blade gets introduced. I think he will be introduced in Doctor Strange 2, Multiverse of Madness. Into the Multiverse of Madness. I believe that's where we're first going to see him because it would make the most sense to me because they've already cast him as of this year. As of July, he is Blade. But obviously, they need to tease him up and maybe they're going to work up to some kind of sorcery, some kind of unnatural Avengers, which would be pretty cool. So that is pretty much it, guys, for all these movies that I've listed. But like always, guys, let me know down below. We do know they are building up to another Avengers movie. Because let's be honest, guys, two billion endgame pretty good that's not the overall turnover that that is their turnover not gross profit so a lot of people think that disney made a lot of money in endgame yes yeah, sure bro they kind of did but most people don't factor in how much money they cost i mean 200 million dollars is the standard for production the standard for marketing then you got the cinema cuts because the cinemas don't put these movies in their cinema for free they take a cut of the profit so you got to understand that yes marvel does make a lot of money but it's also just spent a lot of money close to 100 billion yes i know it it was reported 70 million billion but you got a legal fees and everything else on top of that it's close to 100 billion from what we're being told so guys let me know which movies do you want first do you want me to do more kind of discussion based videos because that's the way i'm going i've got a lot of thoughts about blade and silver surf and galactus that i want to do in independent videos more informative based videos like this but more podcast based style than the normal content that i'm going to start adding to the channel this week so like always guys let me know what you think about my personal phase five slate now i really do like the artwork and all this but of course guys it's not official artwork because let's be honest deadpool 3 has not been announced silver surfer has not been announced the wolverine like like only, the, the only one of these are official the, the black panther 2 one that is the official artwork from 
Disney 23 back in August. So like always, guys, let me know all your thoughts down below. I really want to hear what you guys say. And if you could check out washdew.com, that would be freaking awesome. So like always, guys, please like, subscribe, and comment. I'll catch you in another video very soon. Catch ya later.